Hello everybody and welcome. Welcome to my little video. It's Friday the 9th of November 2018 and I would like very much to introduce this video from the wonderful wedding chapel of Blackpool. I'm going to slowly pan round and show you the wonderful view from inside the wedding chapel and panning up and there's the famous Blackpool Tower and to the right the Irish Sea. What a wonderful place for two people to start married life. I'd like to thank the wedding chapel very much for letting me use this venue to open up my video. Now I will be as quick as I can with this with the introduction. What I plan to do is to leave the wedding chapel and show you two signs because as you know as I'm from Monday the promenade closes down to all traffic. I will show you those two signs and then I'm going to quickly walk you up to Talbot Road the whole length of Talbot Road from the pier to the railway station. There are a couple of changes and there's a lot of work going on. I'd like to mention that some of my people who visit this site they they unfortunately have no sight and some of them have very poor sight and these people tune in as they seem to find my little video helpful. Thank you. I've, I've, now, I've now just got that out of the way. Um, I think now I just pan round now to show you this wonderful wedding chapel and I'm going to start the video now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the camcorder down and show you the two signs then close it down again and then proceed with the walk from the North Pier right the way to Wilco and there's a couple of changes that I would I would very much like to show you Previous to actually leaving here, I wonder if I may mention, it's about midday and it's very, very cold. There's an icy wind blowing off the Irish Sea. So if it seems like I'm moving at a fair pace up Talbot Road, it's simply that I wish to get the video done as soon as possible and then upload it to YouTube. It's very, very cold. Welcome back. Here is the first of the two signs that I mentioned. The tram service is not affected. The tram service will not be affected with this closure. Trams will run as normal. Oh, and also the sewer that collapsed has been fully repaired. The sewer fully repaired. And now the second sign, illuminated sign, I'm hoping the camcorder picks it up. Central Promenade closed at Talbot Square 11th of November for 13 weeks. Then it tells you about the shops open as usual and the first sign comes back. Welcome back and we start our walk from the North Pier right up to Wilco's. An awful lot of work and progress here. This is the first cage. If I could just quickly mention a few things. The engineers have to have this finished. No 
later than February next year, 2019. That's when they have to have this all finished, meaning all the tram lines have to be in place from here right the way to Wilco and also the new posts that will handle the overhead cables for the trams. They won't do the electrical side of it, but I'm told that they will erect the posts. You see the progress made, the tracks are, are virtually down to the, the promenade. That's why it's being closed up so as they can they can continue their work. Pan up to show you where we are. There's the town hall. And I'm lucky today because just up here, work in progress. Laying of concrete. wind here today is cutting me up. So there we can see some work in progress. There's the there's the engineers. There's the engineers. They're, they're waving to me which is great. Just carry on walking. There we see the pumping vehicle that will pump the concrete. There's a pen back now, is there? There's a, I think that's being cleaned out. Yes, have to be careful. What's happening in here is this concrete mixer is now being cleaned out. They do this after every, every time they visit and all the concretes flowed out. They move up here and they clean the vehicle. Very good. Can you see it all going down the edge of that? I must keep moving. Now, to the left is the Sacred Heart Church. And if I pan round... Now, this is where one of the changes is it's it is possible to cross the other side of the road it is possible but what you have to do is instead of going straight you have to slightly veer to your left and you walk you walk along it here just show you the all the lovely pavement work that is going on all the lovely pavement work that is going on you see there's there's only three or four months left now of this work so progress is going to be thick and fast it really is it really will be look at the lovely pavement show you where we are. I'm going 
go to pan round and to my left you see Malloy's pub and you have to be very careful now because there's you have to be very very careful indeed we want to get to the other side now what you have to do is you have to uh, please be careful here please be careful you can cross here but what happens is you meet traffic coming down from the winter gardens there's the winter gardens there on my right and you're going to meet traffic coming down so so please be very very careful now I'm going to now I'm not certain now what way shall we go I think we'll go the usual way yes I'm going to turn so what we've done is I'm just going to pan back that's where we that's where we came from and if I pan round to my left you see the winter gardens and now can you see what I mean you're going to meet cars coming towards you taxis and whatever please be very careful there is an area for you to go but very narrow please be careful right. I'll cross the road now and into the second cage where you again see activity in a big way just going to pan up now to show you where we are the Victoria there's the Victoria pub there ah, and again I'm very lucky you can see work in progress there's a very large very large crane here and as you can see it's laying very big heavy breeze blocks also here there's going to be four sets of traffic lights as you can see there are none at the moment and there will have to be some I believe there's two there's there's two one going down to the pier one coming up from the pier and um, to the other side coming down from the winter gardens and there we see the concrete mixer leaving now that's going to pick up some more concrete panning back now Now this is another point which I'd like to like to actually mention. Now usually there is a way of crossing from one side to the other, from one side of the road to the other, outside Heron. Well unfortunately, well fortunately because they can work there now, that has been closed but the engineers have been ever so good and they've now introduced an area where you can cross the road from one side of the road to the other I'm just going to pan back to show you where we where we came from and and now yeah. there now as I say I must cross the other I must I must cross the road because I want to show you where we are this is the new way this is the new way that you can cross from one side of the road to the other if I pan up you will see Talbot Express they sell cigars and malt whiskey and tobacconist and I'm just going to carry on and you see the very big shop home bargains that's home bargains there We're building a so, bit of that pool. There we are, so a slight, a slight variance in where you cross. 
you cross outside virtually home bargains and Talbot Express rather than outside Heron. I'm just going to show you that now. There's that little mountain of concrete, virtually all gone now. You can probably remember that from the past videos. There's some shooting up here. I'll, I'll just quickly rush past that. There we are, I rush past that and if I pan up, there's Heron's food where it was once you could cross there but as you can see they're having to do work there so they they've closed this and opened up the channel outside home bargains just a few yards further down and now coming to the end of the cage and we have made it right to the end of the project. Here we are. Markel is there and to my left across the road, Wilco. I have very much enjoyed making this. I really, really have. And it's going to be necessary for me tomorrow to make another video because I want to I want to go to the other two sites that's the Premier Inn and the site on the front the Sands Venue Resort Hotel I want to cover those tomorrow and also to make it clear about the closure of the promenade I thank everybody for finding my channel and I hope everybody's well and I hope to see you in the morning for those other two videos. Thank you ever so much for watching and for leaving the kind comments that people do. Thank you very much. I'm off home now to edit this and put it up to YouTube. Bye bye.